What you looking at there, gorgeous? What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, finally getting to uh, to this video. Sorry. I know these images showed up on uh, Friday and I already had, you know, I had a, a video queued up, a short kind of video. That was already queued up because, you know, that's what's great about this community. What, what can be great is you share. You share info. You share, hey, look what I got. Look at this. You know, this is this is what I like to do, when it, especially when it comes to the Snyder Cut stuff. You know, it's like, hey, let's let's try to get stuff out there. That's what I've been trying to do for the past year. Everybody else can do their thing. This is what I do. So I wanted to talk about these images that were dug up by DC Films Hub. That's right. Um, you know, they worked with uh, Screen Rant as well, but I just wanted to talk about um these images and it sucks it sucks because such beauty was wasted i mean my god can you imagine can you imagine taking the time being tasked to do this making all that beautiful art then poof gone like kevin spacey i mean it's basically the history lesson we saw in the movie um you know this is probably where she found all that out and then told bruce of course the scene that we see her telling bruce and you know, it's reshot but, uh, you know, that's pretty much the history lesson in art form. we got the tribes of men. we got the Amazonians, Atlanteans, uh, priests, the Desaad. Desaad's there. He was supposed to make an appearance and uh, probably too scary. And then this thick figure right here in the middle that's just, like, showing up. Many assuming, you know, it could be Steppenwolf. But, come on, no horns. But who knows? Is that the father staff? Absolutely beautiful, and yeah, this is uh, what she saw when uh, Snyder posted that image of her with the torch. This is what she was looking at. And uh, you know what, what's good about this, um, in a way, <laughs> is that uh, it, it's reignited more discussions about the Snyder Cut. I mean, it kind of was dwindling down a bit, and I, I kept getting people like, what's going on with Snyder Cut, Snyder Cut? I'm just like, what do you want me to do? The guy's been quiet. He's also been quiet about this, which I was kind of hoping that he would add to it. But he didn't. But, uh, you know, discussion um, has reignited, like, like I said. And uh, But, you know, as I'm seeing that, I'm also seeing, you know, that certain info out there is uh, not true, but, you know, whatever. When it came to Comic-Con, I mean, <laughs> I mean that, was, that was a pretty crazy week. Um, I heard from my source that nothing was happening. I and mean, this was like weeks before that. There wasn't going to be anything about the Snyder Cut. Snyder wasn't going to show up. He wasn't attending. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I heard that. But other people heard that Warner Brothers was planning on announcing the Snyder Cut. And I just kind of go, really? Because I've said it before, and I'll keep on saying it, is Warner Brothers was not planning on announcing the Snyder Cut, and they don't plan on announcing the Snyder Cut anytime soon, maybe like a 10 years down the road. I mean, I... I, I I'm, eh, oh. They're moving forward. They're moving forward. Obviously, we know that. I mean, <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna announce the Snyder Cut on one of the biggest stages that they have when they have to promote three other big CBMs with three other directors. That's kind of just you know paving the way to a new direction, I guess, for the DCEU. They're just not gonna do it. You're just using logic, Dave. Yeah, it's a fucking curse. I got a bunch of hell that week. Certainly did. It was like a battlefield, man. I was just getting uh, attacked left and right. But, you know, I didn't care. You know, it's whatever. I stood my ground. I still said what I said. I didn't like, oh, my God, you know, or I mean, I'm not trying to play victim or anything. Like that. But it was just, it was pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, I know certain people in this movie movement, you know, heard otherwise. When, when I heard my, when my source, when my source told me, when my source told me that nothing was happening and the whole, like, Snyder being at Coronado a week before or the week of, you know, he just said that was entirely a coincidence. And I was like, yeah, yeah that makes sense. And I was kind of like hoping maybe. But then I went, well, I don't think Snyder would do that. And sure enough, my source said, yeah, he wouldn't want to steal the thunder from the three colleagues, one being Patty Jenkins for sure, James Wan, David F. Sandberg. Why would he want to steal the thunder from fellow colleagues? But who cares, right? We want the Snyder cut. Why would Snyder do that? I mean, we're all, like, we all love Snyder. We all say, like, he's, like, this saint of a human being. Why would he want to steal the thunder from three colleagues? Why? He wouldn't want to. And that's what I was told. And, you know, yeah. Now, I'm not saying that something was told to certain people about 
things that were supposed to be happening at Comic-Con, I was kind of going, huh. And I was kind of going back and forth, too. I was trying to, like, I was like, I kind of hope. At the same time, I'm like, I'm hearing different, you know. And that's where, like, you know, it was like a war zone and everything like that. And, you know, I'm sure that they were told that. And, you know, when you're told something, sure, I totally get that. I totally understand that they wanted to get it out there. One particular person, though, when he was saying certain things, it didn't happen. And then he got attacked by fans. And then he decided to just walk completely away again. The narcissism from certain fans, not him. He just was like, fuck this, I'm out. And I totally understand that and respect him for that. But uh, if anyone is going to release a Snyder Cut, guys, it's going to be Zack Snyder. It's not going to be Warner Brothers. They're moving forward. They are moving on. We know this, okay? And whether you like it or not, if you plan on boycotting the movie or not, whatever. Do what you feel. Do what you want. I, You know what I hate, though? I just hate that... When these people like laugh at certain things or just, you know, just just act like assholes to people who are still looking forward to these movies because they're just fans. You know, I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand like why do you have to be a dick just because you're you, you're not getting what you're what what you wanted. So you're just gonna be a dick to people who are looking forward to. <sighs> Anyways, back to the um the the art. People are kind of wondering what's on that fourth wall because we only see three walls. And only the man himself knows that answer, and well, it could be a beautiful thing. There you have it, guys. That's what I wanted to talk about. So uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for my content. Visit the closet for shirts and stickers. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and my new Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs>